when we look at the total distance traveled, basically from 0 to 6 seconds. From 0 to 2, are we doing anything with the particle? No, nope, the particle's just sitting there, right? And it's not moving anywhere. Then we have the particle is moving, uh, moving down, right? The particle is moving down, as you can see here, because the, because the slope is negative. And then it changes direction at t equals 4, and then it starts moving back up from 4 to 6. So what we want to do is find the absolute value of that distance traveled between 2 and 4 and 6 and 4. Okay, So the total distance traveled, I'll just use that as my acronym, is going to be the absolute value of y sub 4 minus y sub 2 plus the absolute value of y sub 6 minus y sub 4. All right. Now let's just kind of see where we're going here with this. So where is the position at y sub 4? Oh, I wrote that down wrong. This is supposed to. I was wondering why. Well, let's, you guys already had that down, right? Uh, let me just use this, because that's what I originally had. So that's what I don't want to mess up. Let's just go that down to negative 6. Sorry about that. That's, I don't want to make uh, any, any other problems or my work different. Um, so anyways, y sub 4 is going to be absolute value of negative 6 minus positive 6 plus y sub 6 is 0 minus y sub 4 is negative 6. I would recommend you guys using parentheses to make sure that you keep the sign. A lot of students will make their mistakes arithmetically, arithmetically, use, with arithmetic um, because of they're not using parentheses in the signs. So negative 6 minus 12, 6, if you, owe, if, you borrow, if you owe me $6 and you borrow $6 more, you now owe me $12. And now we can say that it has traveled 18 inches. Yes? Because I said only during the first six seconds. But if